हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एम जी अकेडमी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज थ्रेडेड बाइनरी ट्री ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टीबीटी सो व्हाई वी कॉल दिस बाइनरी ट्री एज थ्रेडेड बिकॉज इन दिस बाइनरी ट्री वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट थ्रेड्स हेंस द नेम इज थ्रेडेड बाइनरी ट्री ओके नाउ दिस इज जनरली हाउ वी रिप्रेजेंट अ सिंपल बाइनरी ट्री बट द नोट्स ऑफ बाइनरी ट्री कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री फील्ड डेटा फील्ड लेफ्ट पॉइंटर एंड राइट पॉइंटर so this three fields are there in the binary tree though we are not writing it here but they are there so in threaded binary tree will not represent binary tree like this but will represent it in its node form and both these binary trees are equal okay so you can see that there are three fields here is the data field and these two fields are the pointer fields hence these two fields will hold address isn't it so this two fields will hold address so the left pointer field will hold address of node b the right pointer field will hold address of node c similarly left pointer of node b will hold address of node d and right pointer of node b will hold address of node e and similarly for the left and right pointers of node c okay now if you will see that the left and right pointers of node d are null i am writing this n for null okay similarly left and right pointers of node e are null same for f and g isn't it now when memory is allocated so memory is allocated for a complete node though these fields are null but memory is allocated to them so this is nothing but wastage of memory in tbt we use these null pointers these are nothing but null pointers so in tbt we use these null pointers we will add address in this null pointers so how we are going to give address to this null pointers see the left null pointers left null pointers will be replaced by its in order in order predecessors okay and the right null pointer will replace by its in order successors okay so now we'll replace these null pointers with their in order predecessors and successors okay first keep these two fields the leftmost null pointer and the rightmost null pointer as null this two will not change okay i'll i'll tell you the reason why but first just keep these two fields as null they will not change okay now the first is this field this is the right pointer of node d the right pointer of node d will be replaced by its in order successor for that reason first we have to take out in order traverser for this tree okay this is the in order traverser for this tree if you have seen my previous lectures then you can easily find out the in order traverser for any tree okay so now what is the in order successor for node d the in order successor for node d is b so now this null field will not be null this null field will hold address of node b like this then the left pointer of node e will be replaced by its in order predecessor so uh, in order predecessor of node e is b so now this field will be replaced it will not be null and it will point to node b okay now this field this is right pointer right pointer will be replaced by in order successor so in order successor of node e is a so now this field will not be null and it will point to a 
okay then node f left pointer of node f will be replaced by its in order predecessor that is a okay then right pointer right pointer will be replaced by in order successor so in order successor of f is c then node g the left pointer of node g will be replaced by in order predecessor so in order predecessor of g is c like this right now the right pointer of node g will be replaced by its in order successor and g doesn't have in order successor it is null and because of this reason this field of node g is null similarly left pointer of node d doesn't have in order predecessor it is null hence this field is also null okay so this is a original threaded binary tree this dotted lines are nothing but threads okay so this is a original threaded binary tree but there is a problem in this threaded binary tree and what is that see here right pointer of node a is pointing to node c which is child of a isn't it right here also right pointer of node c is pointing to g which is child of node c but here right pointer of node f is pointing to c which is parent of node f isn't it for node e the right pointer is pointing to node a which is an ancestor of node e so there is a problem that when you encounter a address at right pointer see in memory these fields are nothing but addresses so if you encounter an address at right pointer how will you differentiate whether that address is of a child node or an ancestor isn't it because in memory these are nothing but addresses so how will you differentiate that whether uh, it is a address of child or ancestor here you can see the right pointer is holding address of a child node but here you can see the right pointer is holding address of a parent node and here it is an ancestor so for that reason there is a technique in threaded binary tree and what is that so for differentiating whether the right pointer holds the address of a child node or parent node or whether a left pointer holds the address of a child node or parent node we will make some changes in the node structure of a threaded binary tree initially the node structure of threaded binary tree consists of three fields isn't it data field left pointer and right pointer left pointer field and right pointer field isn't it now what will make the changes will add two additional fields in this node structure and these two additional fields are nothing but the flag fields okay this is right flag and this is left flag okay now the value of flag can be either 0 or 1 isn't it now if the left pointer field is holding the address or is pointing to a child node then the value of flag will be 1 so value of flag is 1 when the left pointer will hold address of a child node and if the left pointer is holding the address of a parent node then value of flag will be 0 value of flag is 0 when the address is of a parent or ancestor ancestor node okay similarly for right flag if the right pointer is holding the address of a child node then value of flag will be 1 for child node and if it is holding the address of a parent or ancestor then value of flag will be 0 so in short if flag is 1 then the node is pointing to a child node and if the flag is 0 then the node is pointing to an ancestor node okay now this tree see 
Now node A is pointing to node B and C, which are nothing but its child node, isn't it? So value of flag will be one. Okay. Similarly, node B is pointing to node D and E. The left pointer is pointing to its left child, and the right pointer is pointing to its right child. So the value of flag will be one. Similarly, for C, the left pointer and the right pointer is pointing to child nodes. So the value of flag will be one. Now, what about this fields? See, node D has no child, isn't it? And we have seen that this field, this right pointer of node D, will point to its in order successor, that is B. We have already seen this, isn't it? So this is nothing but parent of node D. So value of flag will be zero. And as there are no childs, so the value here will also be zero. And here there is null. We have seen this, isn't it? Now, E. Similarly, E doesn't have any child, so value of flag will be zero. And now, what the left pointer will hold? The left pointer will hold address of its in order predecessor, that is B. The right pointer will hold address of its in order successor, that is A. Similarly, node F has no child. So the value of flag is zero, and we have seen that the left pointer of node F will hold address of its in order predecessor that is A, and the right pointer will hold address of its in order successor that is C. Similarly, G G has no child, so value of flag is zero. The left pointer is pointing to its in order predecessor that is C, and this is null. These two fields are kept null. We have seen this, isn't it? Now the flag is zero, which means that D node D has some ancestor. The left pointer of node D is holding address of some ancestor node. Hence, the value is zero for flag. So here it will be not null. This field will point to one. Node and that node is a dummy node. Which is that node? Dummy node. This is nothing but what? Dummy node. The data field of this dummy node will be null. And now this field will hold address of this dummy node. So it will be like this. See, okay. And now, what about this? Similarly, this field will now not be null. It will hold address of this dummy node. So now it will be like this. Okay. So. These two fields are now not null. They are pointing to something, and this something is nothing but a dummy node. The data field is null, and the flags for this dummy node are one. Now, if the flag is one, then what are its childs? Isn't it? So the child of this dummy node, the left child of this dummy node is A. So the left pointer of this dummy node will hold address of A, which is nothing but the root. Root of this tree, isn't it? So now this field will point here. I have no space here, so I have drawn here. Okay. Now this will point here. And now what about this field? So the right pointer of this field will point to itself. Okay. So this is a dummy node. The data field of this dummy node is null. The left pointer of this dummy node will hold address of the root that is A and the right pointer will hold address of itself. Okay. So this dummy node is introduced for keeping the consistency of the flag. And in this way we have solved our problem of how to differentiate whether the left pointer whether the left pointer field or right pointer field 
is holding the address of a child or ancestor no okay so this was all about a threaded binary tree okay so that's it for today hope you understood my today's lecture and if so then give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends